Hi friends, in this video I am going to show you how to repair corrupted DLL file using system file checker tool. Click on start, type command prompt or cmd in search box. Right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator. At the command prompt type the following command and then press enter. Do not close this command prompt window until the verification is 100% complete. After the process is finished, you may receive one of the following messages. If you find this message, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. This means that you do not have any missing or corrupted system files. Or if you find this message, Windows Resource Protection could not perform the requested operation. To resolve this problem, perform the system file checker scan in safe mode. To repair the corrupted files manually, we need to view the details that included in the cbs.log file. In order to do this process, follow these steps. Open an elevated command prompt. At the command prompt, type the following command. And then press enter. Now open the sfcdetails.txt file from your desktop. The sfcdetails.txt file uses the following format. After you determine which system file was corrupted and could not be repaired through the details information in the sfcdetails.txt file. Now find where the corrupted file located and then manually replace the corrupted file with a good copy of that file. To do this follow these steps. Get a good copy of system file from another computer that is running the same version of Windows with your computer. To take administrative ownership of the corrupted system file, do the following steps. Open an elevated command prompt. Type the following command. and then press enter to get grand administrators full access to the corrupted system file do the following steps type the following command and then press enter in order to replace the corrupted system file with a known good copy of the system file do the following steps Type the following command and then press enter. Now type yes and then press enter. If you find this error, the process cannot access the file because it is being used by another process. This means that the file is used by another process. To overcome this error, you need to install Process Explorer tool. Or if you find this message, it means that the corrupted file has been replaced by new one. 